Uh, apparently, it cost Hannah's parents a lot of money to raise her. I guess. I in mean, Colorado. right in Colorado. Yeah. I mean, I don't know because I was a you child. Didn't have to pay. But yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. I can see it being expensive just because it's the cost of living there. I was so part high. Louisiana, so my parents started off cheap. But then you and went they moved to, Colorado. to Colorado, and they had to pay a pretty penny, and then they moved back down to Louisiana because they saw how expensive they, it was. They didn't in want to Colorado. spend that much yeah. for my sister, I guess. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Good on them. I don't that. think that's. <laughs> That's exactly yeah, what it's happened. Si science, math, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah. They right. keep on top of the finances. It's also uh, nice and uh, hot down here during the summer compared to Colorado. A little drier up there, right? Yes, but we do have some things in the summer we have to watch that we don't get in Colorado. That's right. Tropical, tropical, tropical weather. Tropical weather. Tropical weather. Yes, we have our first invest so far of the season. This is right off the west coast of Florida right now. You can see pretty broad, not really organized right now. Low chance of developing over the next seven days, Shelby. Has 0% over the next four to eight hours. Sure. But they are expecting this to kind of drift over the Florida Peninsula into those more open waters of the Atlantic. The Atlantic's and very warm right now. Yeah, that'll be where the better chance of seeing actual formation will be, which is good news because it will be Away offshore. from us. Yes. So well, there may be a 20% chance for development. There's a 0% chance that that one is our problem. Exactly, because you can see we're on the dry side of it. We're on the northwest. We're getting actually drier air coming down right now, too. We saw a cold front come through, so the dew points are in the 60s, which is really feeling good. It does feel better outside than it did yesterday morning, for yes. sure. And the temperatures are slightly lower. It's still going to be pretty hot in the afternoon, 90s, definitely not anything to sneeze at. But with the lower humidity, it makes it feel better. But feel this is Florida's problem for sure. They've already seen heavy rainfall. They're going to see over 10 inches in some areas as we go throughout the next couple of days. Did I hear y'all saying that Florida was in a drought though? So this is yes. some much needed rainfall for them. Yeah, all of those Southern Peninsula areas have been facing bad drought conditions. They've had fires all winter long. So this is good news for them. Yeah. But we don't want too much. Okay. Right. I mean, there's always that balance, but yeah, some rain that they, they needed for sure. Yes. Now we could see a couple of coastal showers today, maybe pump some storms down in the southern areas and tomorrow. So we're keeping 30 okay. percent for those far southern areas, but the rest of us stay dry. And then throughout the rest of the week, it's really mostly dry. But we have to watch for that plume of tropical moisture that is spawning all of that thunderstorm activity off the coast of Florida. Sure. We're expecting it to kind of start to shift over to the west in the southern Gulf, which could bring us more rain chances. So we're bumping up the rain chances at the end of the week. And you can see on the precip map that we're starting to get into the reds there. So that's where we could see up to five inches of rainfall. That's all for the extended forecast. Yeah, this is the over the next the seven days. So this is kind of showing us, and you're saying maybe toward the tail end of that seven day forecast. Yes, this is just showing you that that moisture is going to shift over to the west. So we will see a change later on. So get out there today, tomorrow, the next five or so days, it's really going to feel pretty nice, especially with that slightly lower humidity and the temperatures again, a couple of degrees cooler right now sitting in the mid 80s. There you go. We're, in the, the we're in the mid 80s. <laughs> you know, enjoy it. Yeah, it's no, really, it, it, you want to enjoy it before the humidity and everything yes. comes back because then it's going to be whew, it's going to be full blown summertime. Yeah, anytime we get a drop this time of year, we have to enjoy it. <laughs> really? All right, we'll get more details on that rain coming toward the end of the week uh, and into next week from you in just a bit, Hannah. But right now we're going to get over to Rob Krieger for a check on those news headlines. All right, thanks, Shelby. Uh,